Welcome to the Zen Zone. We are unboxing the VR. Now we're going to ride the V12. That's what we're going to do. We have some awesome V12 footage for you. This thing is super zippy. A quick note on some of this footage. I taped on the pads. It looks bad, especially on such a nice looking wheel. Shouldn't have taped on the pads. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. Uh, with the drone shots, you can't see it at all. That's what I was mostly focusing on was the drone shots, which will come later. Uh, for this, I hope the tape doesn't bother the aesthetic too much. Wanted to make sure that Clark pads were secured because they had been used quite a bit. But I would recommend using Velcro. Velcro is the way to go. Get some of that super strong Velcro and it's easy to change out pads and position them anywhere you would like. Definitely recommend that. It's probably the zippiest wheel for the weight. I think like pound for pound it is the zippiest wheel. Probably the fat one of the fastest accelerating wheels. It's so fast that it's a little bit scary. I feel like some people may get hurt on this wheel because you can accelerate super fast, hit super high speeds, and it's only the 16 by three tires. So if you hit like a little bump when you're accelerating fast, uh, you may get hurt. I will, I've even mentioned that to in motion. It's not, it, it may not even happen, but it was in my mind that many people may get hurt on this wheel because it's super zippy, super zippy. If you treat it like a Tesla or an 84 volt Nikola, I think you're doing the right thing. You know, keeping it under like 31 miles an hour, keep it under 45 kilometers per hour to be safe. Uh, and if you do that, you're going to absolutely love this wheel. I think what people are harping on is the safety of this wheel. I can't speak for that. Um, I've never had any safety issues with any of my wheels, really, um, except I guess my BMS going out on the Sherman. All my EUCs have had issues that have been fixable and it's easiest to fix on the bigoti actually the only one that i haven't been able to fix was my v11 i sold that i gave up on the v11 even though it was one of my favorite eucs because the rim is like butter and breaks easy and that i wanted the v11 to be my off-roading wheel but the rim is just so tender that it, it breaks and it's super hard to repair the v12 rides amazing it's a great 16 inch wheel Again, my, my only concern with this wheel is how freaking powerful it is for a little wheel. It is a super powerful, torquey little wheel. And in bad little wheel, 16 by 3 is not little. Definitely in the medium size range. Intermediate wheel here. This is would be a good first wheel if you took it easy. Kept your safety. If, if this is going to be your first wheel, take it really easy on this. You don't want to drop it. You don't want to ding it up. Um, I could give you tips on how to learn riding at UC without damaging it but it's the slow way of learning it's not like you go out one day and you learn it's kind of like keep it in your house and start exercising with it doing exercises with it to learn v12 could be an absolutely fantastic first wheel if you're safe with it and don't ding it up because i feel like if you drop it or break it it's going to be hard to get parts for it that was the biggest issue with the v11 is getting parts for it especially the control board i think they messed up a bunch of control boards at emotion and it resulted in like a shortage of supplies and the demand was so high for the v11 they definitely just doesn't seem like they've been able to keep up and now they're moving on to the v12 if they are able to keep up with parts and if this is not like breaking down that much and turns out to be this super reliable safe wheel that everyone's hyping it up to be i think that's the hype with this wheel it's super safe it has like high waterproof rating and what else is the hype with this wheel? I guess it looks decent. You know, it doesn't look bad. It looks better than a lot of wheels. I think I like the look of it better than the Tesla, the lights. Like aesthetically, I like the look of the V12. However, I do prefer my Tesla over the V12 because I'm not riding it at high speeds. I don't need uh, the high speeds on my Tesla. I'm pretty happy with going under 31 miles an hour, under 45 kilometers per hour. That's what I tend to try to keep my Tesla under. And I like the way it feels. Now for off-roading, if you're going to do any sort of off-roading, like if you just have to cross over a trail, definitely take the V12 over the Tesla any day. I'm not going to even really take my Tesla off-roading. I want to keep the Tesla nice. Don't want to ding it up. And you probably wouldn't want to ding up your V12. And if the rim's similar to the V11 rim, you don't want to dent the rim at all. So I wouldn't off-road with this wheel. This is your urban king right here this is your urban king it's probably better than the sherbin as far as our urban wheel because it's easier to carry down the stairs um it's lighter even though it is a heavy wheel it's about the same weight as an rs if not maybe a little bit heavier so it's 
in the RS category is where I would put it. Um, and I think that's the same price as the RS as well. So that's the choice one would we need to make is do you get an RS or a B12? Personally, I would stick with the Bigotti line because it's never done me wrong. And the new RSs have improvements in terms of safety from what I understand and in terms of the LCD screen too. It's a really nice LCD screen on it. And you're gonna get the power. Um, but this is, I mean, this Emotion V12, it's, I think it's gonna make a lot of people happy and I hope they're safe with it. I do know an Emotion employee got hurt on it. I don't think they ever released what happened, but I heard that Emotion employees are banned from riding on the street. Uh, because of an emotion employee that was riding on this EUC it was hurt riding on the street that's all I know that's like <laughs> all I know about that event and I don't think emotion will talk about it but I'm curious what happened if it was a machine failure if it was rider failure um, it's hard to be honest when you hurt yourself on EUC that's something I will always do is be honest because really I don't have anything to lose right now I will if if I mess up, I will, guys, I will always tell you, like my with my Bigoti EX, at first I was like, man, this thing just randomly cut out. But after investigating, found out it was my fault with me not siliconing the house sensor down properly. And uh, I did have problems with the V12. I'm not sure what this what the story of this wheel is, but it was used when I got it. It had beach sand all over it. It wasn't like I got a brand new wheel here. And I can tell it has been heavily tested. Um, and there was something wrong with the way it shifted. I didn't really notice it except very lightly because I don't ride backwards. I'm not a backwards rider, but I let two friends play around with it and demo it and they can ride backwards really well. And when you shift back to backwards, there's like a twang kind of like it was having trouble shifting between the reverse and front gears, the best way I can explain it. Um, so that this, this did have, this did have issues. So these. So that kind of leads me into the three reasons why I'm not going to buy this UC right now. I'm going to play the patient game on this one. And then I'm not suggesting that you play the same game as me. If you got some extra cash laying around, hey, go for it. Be safe with it. Treat it like a prototype because it's a batch one EUC. Uh, in motion usually does a pretty good job, but the V11 to me was a disaster. And I'm hoping the V12 doesn't follow suit. We'll see. There's only one way to find out, and that's going to be the people that buy the first edition wheel. You can get yours at Alien Rides. I saw that they have it available on their website. I would definitely, I, I bet there's going to be a limited supply, so I would put down that deposit as soon as possible. You can use discount code ZEN, I believe, to get yourself $50 off. That's not a bad deal. Helps me out as well. Okay, so the three reasons not to buy the V12s. Number one is if you want to go high speeds. And by high speeds, I mean speeds over 35 miles an hour. If you want to cruise over 35 miles an hour, I would kindly suggest an 18-inch wheel. 18-inch wheels are more stable and stability equals safety. If you're going to be going higher speeds, you're going to want that stability and you're going to want that extra safety. The number two reason, pretty simple. It's a batch one wheel. It's usually always safest to avoid the batch one wheels. Maybe Emotion has worked out the kinks. Maybe they haven't. That's the number two reason it's a patch one wheel and kind of tying into that is the v11 to me was a disaster that's very much tied into this new wheel in motion has done the v10 and the v8s really well they're super solid stable wheels super safe great beginner wheels now that they're moving into this advanced space they're kind of failing the v11 was a fail in my opinion so far let's see if they can recover with the v12 Number three reason is in motion historically, it seems like it's pretty hard to get parts for, for example, the V11, maybe because it was so successful that it was it's hard to get motors, it's hard to get control boards, plus they had some issues with the control boards. There were a lot of issues with the V11, and there still are a lot of issues with the V11. If those same issues are carrying over to the V12, then I definitely would not buy this wheel, and you may want to play the patient game, get yourself something a little bit more affordable to have some fun with, V3 Tesla, you could get an RS, a V11, you get a King Song wheel, S18, 16X, 18XL. These are all great choices that are in the same range as the V12. And they're not, oh, the Nikola as well. The Nikola is a choice as well. Nikola is probably the closest wheel to it. And in some ways, I prefer the Nikola. That's my own personal preference. You may have a preference for a different sort of wheel. Find the one that's right for you. You can check out my links in my bio. It really helps me out and also gives you a discount. 
Alien Rides has these in stock with the LCD screen. The Tesla and the RS are in stock and you can reserve the V12 right with Alien Rides. Check them out, two year warranty. That's the end of this video. Lots of V12 content coming up. Smash the thumbs up button and leave a comment if you want to see more V12 comment. It motivates me to edit through it and narrate. It does take a lot of work. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.